Oh, hey, what's up, my friends? Uh, so today, <laughs> I crack myself up. So today we're going to be doing a uh, thing that I haven't seen a lot on YouTube. In fact, this is the first time I've seen it on YouTube. I'm sure somebody else has done it, but this is done by, uh, I found this technique from Sylvie14000 on Instagram, and it's called a slit cup. And what she does is she, uh, it's kind of like a dirty flip cup, except then she, uh, well, she slits the cup. And I'll show you. It turns out really cool. If you, it's, uh, it's along the same lines as the, uh, the swirl pour or the tree ring pours. Uh, but I think they're, I think it's way cooler. So anyway, uh, let me show this. Uh, let me switch over to the art cam and we can see how this is going to go. Mm -mm -mm. Switch. Switch. Mm -mm. Switch. Switch. There we go. All right, so I've already kind of coated this. Now you don't have to coat the canvas on this this type, but I wanted to, just because why the heck not? In fact, Sylvie does not do it this way, so figured I had to throw on my own twist. I guess I don't know. I'm a nonconformist. <laughs> Um, the other thing I'm going to do is I totally meant to put down my uh, my paint first. Well, that's good. Just slinging stuff all over the place. This is going to be a fun video, guys. Uh, all, right. all right. All right. All right. So here we are. So we have phalo blue, which is like this really calm, comfortable, fun... Um, shade of blue then we have ultramarine blue i'm sorry which is everything phalo blue is except not relaxed at all it's like an electric bam of the i'm blue then we have some sap green uh, i was thinking putting i don't have unbleached titanium but i bet that would look beautiful in this pore specifically so anyway i've got some pre-mixed white and everything's mixed to consistency and so let's add this in as a dirty pour, and then we will, let's start off with this ultramarine. You got some of that there? Oh yeah, oh that's nice. Then get this sap green in here. I really like sap green, I think it's a pretty awesome color. Uh, phalo green. I almost put phalo green in here also, but you know, figured it, I didn't want it. I wanted it to be blue predominantly and not green, and so I figured if I would have doubled up the greens too, it kind of would have messed up what we were trying to achieve on the mini blues, or it would have fought for dominance. So I put a whole bunch of extra phalo blue because I want that to be the primary blue, and. Uh, what I'm hoping is going to happen in some of these places is that the um, ultramarine blue, which is that super energetic, vibrant blue, is going to... Uh, yeah. Is going to um, add highlights. So I've never flipped a flip cup onto this paint before. That's already there. I'm kind of wondering if I need to sh set up a splash shield for it. Nah, screw it. Let's just do it. Ha! That was awesome. Okay, so slit cups. You've got your cup. You take your knife. And you slit the cup. Amazing. I know, right? But literally, that's all there is to it. So we're going to make some slits in here. Take it down. And I didn't check to see if I have Barry White voice. So if I have Barry White voice... You can't get enough of your love, baby, I guess. And then this other one. And then let's put some holes on top so we can get some air to let it through. Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. Anyway, let's push it back down. So... So I don't know if you could see that. Let me get my hand in the right place so you can. Uh, yeah, yeah. 
you can see it's extra specifically on this side. really low. Maybe I need to cut it higher so it bends easier. I'm going to cut towards my hand. That's a good decision. I'm super glad I've got boys. can teach them how to do all the silly stuff that dad does. Now let's point it face up. All right. And I don't know if you can see, but we're getting these rings on this side. Oh, it's not really a ring, but... Every time we push, it lets out a similar color thing. So as they're flexing in and out, what we're getting is um, like little lines of this stuff. And they, and they go in each of these directions. So I'm gonna move this up so you can kind of see it way better. Can you see it? Can you see it? Oh, hey, settle down, cup. I'm kind of let, just letting the stuff out. Oh, man. Hmm, this is interesting. Well, we're going to have to brush this thing. some of these it's okay I want it to all be colored though and then let's tilt this back up into where we're going here Oops. there we go I like how it feels long um, Time to dry off the fingers. Ooh, time to dry the fingers off on the canvas. I feel smart, S-M-R-T. All right. Okay, some awesome things that's got going for it. Um, I love, I love how that ultramarine turned into like a purple thing. It's got to be so blue, it's purple, or I don't know how that works. But um, there's a few things that I don't, I feel like they don't entirely jive with the, with the thing of the painting. So like all of this is scooting that way and kind of narrowing down into that point. So we're going to take the airbrush and kind of push this because this has some lines that, that don't go with our, our. Uh, I don't know what's it called, our composition maybe. So instead of just taking exactly what we get, we take what we have and then see how we can improve on it. And I'm just cleaning this off real quick because I got uh, something. And here comes the airbrush. Hmm. 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 So I feel like this area could use some, and I feel like this area could use some, although I really do like these, how it's kind of done its thing right there. Hmm. Okay. Okay. 
Hmm. Sorry if my head's in the way. There's my big giant nose. Oh, look, it's huge! Man. Okay. Um, see, I'm having a... I'm, right now, what I'm doing... So before, I felt like that was ruining the, the line. So I kind of blew that out and kind of took away from the thing that's distracting most from it. But now we've got this, this thing right here, and I feel like it would balance really nicely with this on the top and that same thing on the bottom, except this is doing the line thing that we were, that I was liking from the last one. And I don't want to ruin these on the edges. I don't know if you could see it, but it's, it's real tree ringy right here, and I really like that. So, still trying to decide. I do see I have some air bubbles here. You don't have to use a torch when you have a uh, an airbrush because you can just pop it with air. Hmm, you know what? Guys, we're gonna leave this right how it is. I'd be afraid because this right here, I, if you can't tell on the video, this right here is absolutely gorgeous the way this purple and green twine through each other. And there's this ring pour looking thing here, and this is reinforcing our, our uh, what's it called, composition. And so I think that if I were to do anything, I'd probably ruin it, and I really don't want to do that. Um, so yes, I'm going to leave it just like that. Although, you know it would be fun sometimes? Next time I get something like this, if we take and we did a paper towel swipe, just on these edges. So we have these lines going this way and then swipe on either sides or, I don't know. I don't exactly know what uh, when that'll become applicable or if it's gonna work at some time, but it'd be kind of nice to do and kind of work at it from, and I know you've been looking at the top of my head a lot. Sorry about that, I should make eye contact. Eyes. Um, okay, let's switch back to the face cam. Transition. Okay, so that's the slit cup for you. Um, uh, I'll try to figure out how to how to make it more usable for a regular thing because I feel what we did is we cut it up and made a whole bunch of mess, which is just fine in acrylic pouring. And we did get those ring pour elements inside of this current painting, so it'd be interesting to see what we could uh, what we can come up with in the future and see if I don't know um, maybe pre-cut them but in more slits and then tape them up then untape them so we have like stuff coming from every direction or maybe try it on a bigger canvas so I can use more paint and we can get the ring pours, the rings uh, that squishing it makes uh, over a broader area. Hmm. Yeah, but anyway, so there's lots of ideas, lots of things we could do. Hope I got your creativity going. I would love to see your guys' take on it. So I don't usually do this. In fact, most people discourage this on their channels, but I want to start seeing what you guys do. So if you want to try a slit cup, I would love to see how yours come out because I think it'd be fun. We've been a community, more of a, uh, more of a thing where it's friends hanging out. So... Friends, show me what you got going. I think <laughs> I think it would be fun to see what you guys get, uh, can do with this too. All right, so here's the thing. I really appreciate you guys, and you're awesome. Would you do something for me? Is Would you like? And if you're not a, a member of this community yet, why don't you subscribe? It would be awesome to have you join the group of crazies that we is. And um, yeah, we'd love to have you. All right, guys. Solid. <laughs> All right, see y'all later. Bye.